Hi kids! I am Teacher Mean. Welcome sa ating math tutorial. For today's video, we are going to discuss about dividing simple fractions and mixed fractions. In order for us to divide fractions and mixed fractions, we must consider this term. We have reciprocal. The word reciprocal has its roots in Latin as the word reciprocus meaning returning. The reciprocal of a given number when multiplied by that number gives one as a product. It can simply be defined as the inverse of a number or a value. Let's have 5 fourths. Let us determine the reciprocal of 5 fourths. We have 4 fifths. Meaning to say, when we multiply 5 fourths and 4 fifths, that is equal to 1. Next, we have 2 and 2 thirds. First thing to do is to change 2 and 2 thirds into improper fraction. So, let's have, let us multiply the denominator 3 by the whole number 2 that gives us 6. Then, add 2. 6 plus 2, we have 8. So, we have 8 thirds. Now, the reciprocal of 8 thirds would be 3 eighths. Next, we have 6. We all know that the denominator of a whole number is equal to 1. So, we have 6 over 1. So, the reciprocal of 6 over 1 is 1 sixth. Now, let us divide simple fraction by another simple fraction. For example, we have 5 sixths divided by 1 half. So, using the keep change flip method, let us now divide these fractions. So, first would be keep, meaning kokopyahin lang natin yung 5 sixths. And then, change division into multiplication. Next is to flip or getting the reciprocal of 1 half and that would be 2 over 1. And let us proceed in multiplying fractions. So let's have 5, 6 times 2 over 1. So in this case, pwede nating i-cancel ang 6 at 2 by dividing it by its common factor which is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, wala na tayong number na pwede pa nating i-cancel. So, let's proceed in multiplying fractions. 5 times 1, we have 5. And then, 3 times 1, we have 3. So, the answer would be 5 thirds. So, 5 thirds can be changed into mixed number and that would be 1 and 2 thirds. Another method is the butterfly method or the crisscross method. So, in this method, we are going to multiply 5 and 2. So, that would be 10. And 10 should be written as the numerator. Next, we have 1 and 6. So, let us multiply 1 and 6. That will give us 6. And 6 should be written as the denominator. So, we have 10 over 6. 10 over 6 is not yet simplified. So, let us think of a number that is divisible by both 10 and 6 and that would be 2. So, let us divide the numerator and denominator by 2. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5 and then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, therefore, the quotient would be 5 thirds or 1 and 2 thirds. And now, let us divide mixed fraction by simple fraction or vice versa. For example, we have 3 and 2 fifths divided by 1 fourth. First thing to do is to change 3 and 2 fifths into improper fraction. So, paano natin siya is change into improper fraction? So, let us multiply 3 and 5, that would be 15. 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. So, that would be 17 and then copy the denominator of 3 and 2 fifths and that would be 5. So, therefore, we have 17 over 5. Next is 
to keep 17 over 5. So, kukopyahin lang natin siya. And then, change division into multiplication. And then, getting the reciprocal of 1 fourth. So, that would be 4 over 1. Okay? So, so, 17 over 5 times 4 over 1. So, we have 17 over 5 times 4 over 1. So, in this case, wala naman tayong number na pwede nating i-cancel. So, let us proceed in multiplying the numerators and also the denominators. So, 17 times 4 would be 68. And then, 5 times 1 and that would be 5. So, 68 over 5. Or, it can be written as as a mixed fraction and that would be 13 and 3 fifths. So, using butterfly method or the crisscross method, all you have to do first is to change 3 and 2 fifths into improper fraction. So, multiplying again, 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 2, that would be 17. So, we have now 17 over 5 divided by 1 fourth. Next, uh, let us multiply 17 and 4. So, 17 times 4 would be 68. At isusulat natin siya as the numerator. And then, let us multiply 1 and 5. That would be 5. At isusulat natin siya as our denominator. So, that would be 5. Now, 68 over 5 is already simplified. Oh, we can change this 68 over 5 into mixed number and that would be 13 and 3 fifths. Another example we have is 9 tenths divided by 1 and 3 fourths. So again, first thing to do is to change mixed fraction into improper fraction. So, that would be 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3. We have 7. So, that would be 7 fourths. Let us now use the keep change flip method. So, let us keep or write again 9 over 10 and change division into multiplication. And then flip 7 fourths by getting the reciprocal of 7 fourths. So, that would be 4 over 7. Now, tingnan natin kung pwede natin gamitin yung cancellation method. So, may number po ba na pwede i-divide both 10 and 4? Yes, it has a common factor of 2. So, let us now divide 4 and 10 by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 2. Five. Now, let us multiply. 9 times 2 is 18, and then 5 times 7 would be 35. Is 18 over 35 is in simplest form? Yes. Bakit? Kasi wala ng common factor ang 18 and 35 except 1. Using the crisscross method, all you have to do is first change mixed fraction into improper fraction. So, we are going to change 1 and 3 fourths into improper fraction. So, that would be 9 tenths divided by 7 fourths. And then, using this method, all you have to do is to multiply 9 and 4. 9 and 4 or 9 times 4 will be 36 and it should be written as our numerator. Then, multiply 10 and 7. That would give us 70. And it should be written as the denominator. Okay? So, 36 over 70. 36 over 70 is not yet simplified. So, we are going to think of a greatest common factor of 36 and 70. So, that would be 2. So, let us divide 36 and 70 by its greatest common factor. So, 36 divided by 2 is 18 and then 70 divided by 2 is 35. Let us now divide mixed fraction by another mixed fraction. For example, we have 8 and 2 thirds divided by 
2 and 5 sevenths. All you have to do first is to change these mixed fractions into improper fraction. So we have 8 times 3, that would be 24. 24 plus 2 would be 26. So we have 26 over 3. Next is 2 and 5 sevenths. So 2 times 7 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. So, 19 over 7. Okay? Let us now use the method keep, change, and flip. Keep 26 over 3. Next is to change division into multiplication. Next is to flip the divisor, which is 19 over 7, by getting its reciprocal. So, we have 7 over 19. Now, 26 over 3 times 7 over 19. Can we use the cancellation method here? Okay, no. So, wala ng common factor yung 26 and 19. At the same time, yung 7 and 3. So, diretso na tayo multiply. So, 26 times 7, we have 182. And then, 3 times 19 is 57. So, we have now... 182 over 57 or it can be changed as mixed fraction of 3 and 11 over 57. Let us use crisscross method. So we have 8 and 2 thirds divided by 2 and 5 sevenths. All you have to do first is to change these mixed fractions into improper fraction. So, kanina, ginawa na natin yun. We have 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 2, we have 26. And then, copy the denominator, which is 3, kaya 26 over 3. Let's have 2 times 7. We have 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. So, 19 over 7. So, we have now 26 over 3 divided by 19 over 7. So, using crisscross method, let us multiply first 26 and 7. So, that would be 182 at ito sulat natin siya as our numerator. And then, let us multiply 3 and 19 at ito sulat natin siya as our denominator. So, 3 times 19, that would be 57. So, we have now 182 over 57 or it can be written as 3 and 11 over 57. Let us now divide mixed fraction or simple fraction by a whole number or vice versa. For example, we have 12 divided by 2 and 5 sevenths. So all you have to do first is to change mixed fraction into improper fraction. So we have 7 times 2 is 14, 14 plus 5 is 19. So we have 19 over 7. So we have 12 divided by 19 over 7. Now, let us use the keep change flip method. Keep 12 or 12 can be written as 12 over 1. Bakit? Lahat ng whole number understood na ang kanilang denominator ay equal sa 1. So we have 12 over 1. Then change division into multiplication. Then flip the divisor or 19 over 7. So we have 7 over 19. Now, we have now 12 over 1 times 7 over 19. So kung titignan natin, wala ng common factor yung 12 and 19 and also 7 and 1. So let us proceed in multiplying these numbers. So 12 times 7 is 84. 1 times 19 is 19. So 84 over 19 can be written as a mixed fraction and that would be 4 and 8 over 19. Okay, using crisscross method, we have 12 and 2 5 sevenths. First thing to do is to change 2 and 5 sevenths into improper fraction. So that would be 2 times 7 is 14. 14 plus 5, that would be 19. Okay? So again, we have 12 here. Um, 12 can be written as 12 over 1 since it is a whole number understood. Ang kanyang denominator is equal to 1. 
So that would be 12 over 1 divided by 19 over 7. So sa criss-cross method, let us multiply 12 and 7, that would be 84, at isusulat natin siya as our numerator. And, next, and then next is multiplying 19 and 1, so that would be 19, at isusulat natin siya as our denominator. So we have now 84 over 19, or 4 and 8 over 19. Last example we have is 8 and 1 fourth divided by 3. So again, so kapag may nakita tayo mixed fraction, ang una natin gagawin is to change this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So change muna natin siya. 8 times 4, we have 32. 32 plus 1 is 33. And then copying the denominator of 8 and 1 fourth. And copying the denominator of 8 and 1 fourth, so that would be 33 over 4. Next, we have 3. Since it is a whole number, understood that the denominator niya is equal to 1. So, let us use keep change flip method. So, we have to copy or keep 33 over 4 as our dividend. Change division into multiplication and then flip 3 over 1 by getting its reciprocal and that would be 1 third. Okay? So, ngayon, 33 over 4 times 1 third. Or can we use cancellation method? Yes. So, 33 and 3 can be cancelled. Pwede natin i-cancel yung 33 and 3 by dividing its common factor, which is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and then 33 divided by 3 is 11. So, let us now multiply. 11 times 1, that would be 11. And then 4 times 1, that would be 4. So, we have now 11 fourths or 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, using criss-cross method, we have 8 and 1 fourth divided by 3. Again, lahat ng mis fraction, dapat i-change muna natin sila into improper fraction. So, 8 times 4, 32 plus 1 is 33. That would be 33 over 4. And then 3, it can be also written as 3 over 1. So, we have 33 over 4 divided by 3, 1. Using this method, let us multiply 33 and 1. That would be 33 at isusulat natin siya as our numerator. And then, multiplying 3 and 4... That would be 12 at isusulat natin siya as our denominator. So, 33 and 12. Meron pa bang common factor ang 33 at 12? Meron. So, we have 3. So, let us divide 3 by both numerator and denominator. So, 33 divided by 3 is 11. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, therefore, we have... 11 fourths or 2 and 3 fourths.